Well, a city contractor today filed a lawsuit against Kwame Kilpatrick all uh, for the same kind of crooked dealings that the former mayor is on trial for today. 7 Action News investigator Ross Jones is live in our newsroom right now. So, Ross, what's the latest on this uh, allegation? Well, Carolyn, this latest lawsuit means that Kwame Kilpatrick is now fighting three legal battles in three different courtrooms. He's already on trial for racketeering in federal court. He was in circuit court yesterday on restitution matters, and now he'll fight a civil battle against a former city contractor. That contractor is Willie McCormick. And his 59-page lawsuit reads like the Fed's indictment against the former mayor. It says that he, his father, and friend Bobby Ferguson had a secret, illegal scheme where they accepted kickbacks in exchange for favoring certain contractors. McCormick says this scheme cut him out of big city sewer projects. And Carolyn, we left a message with Kilpatrick's lawyer Jim Thomas seeking comment tonight, but so far, he's now returned our phone call. They marked the uh, 40th day of the trial for Kilpatrick's criminal case. So what did jurors hear in court today? Well, for the most part today, defense lawyers picked away at the testimony of federal agent Carol Paskevich. She reviewed thousands of text messages between the mayor, his father, and Bobby Ferguson. Now, the feds said they showed Kilpatrick and Ferguson were scheming behind the scenes about contracts. That agent also said that of the thousands of texts that she reviewed, she only saw the Kilpatricks discussing contracts with one city contractor, Bobby Ferguson. Defense lawyers tried to show inconsistencies in the agent's testimony, though, and said that even though she's read thousands of messages for this case, they only represent about 1% of the messages that the feds obtain. Now, tomorrow we expect the government to start a new chapter in this case, focusing on work performed on a city recreation center by Bobby Ferguson. Live in the newsroom, I'm Ross Jones, 7 Action News.